What's going on, y'all? We ready to do this reaction. So I guess some cat named Ruga, you know, is getting a little hyphy with Adam Twenty Two. Now I'm not I'm not familiar with none of these cats on here, but hearing the name Ruga, I would think that homeboy from Chicago, right? Now when we do this reaction, we're not gonna look at it from, you know, from zero to the you know, to the end of the interview, but we're going to kind of get to where, you know, we're going to look at a few minutes of it. Don't get it wrong. We're going to look at a few minutes, though, because we we still got to get good context on how old boy got hyphy, like what's the end from it. So, you know, you already know what time it is. You already know how we get down. Let's get into it. Let's see what's, let's see what's good. And even back then, though, me and Duck wasn't really just rocking out like every day. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. he was still in his hood and I'm in my hood. You feel me? But um, Dugner moved on. Um, on uh, what's the block over off Cottage? What's that? Uh, right after Cottage, Evans or some shit yeah. like that. Yeah, Evans. Yeah, over there on Sixty Third, and that's when they were. He built his relationships over there, you know, and you know, shit go on. But um, I won't lie, music brought me and Doug closer. You feel me? Like I always, we grew up in houses together. You know what I'm saying? But when I say like close, music really brought brought us close on some real shit. So yeah. Duck was doing music before you uh scrapped in. Or well, everyone yeah. probably kicked it off at the same time. No, Duck was doing music before all of us. Duck was dropping music back in what? 2011, right? Yeah, Duck the guy. When I came home, Duck was already lit. Duck had all that old shit going on. Duck's so, been lit since he dropped. Like <clears throat> that's when back then when the Duck and Chief Keith shit was going on, all that shit on the internet. So but Duck was lit already. Oh, uh, for sure, for sure. So when y'all feel like uh y'all started like getting attention with like the JHE thing, when you feel like everybody start paying attention to y'all as a like group? As a group? Yeah. Probably when we did uh what we learning, probably. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that brought us that brought us out. The what we learning. Yeah, what we learning definitely. Yeah. Um yeah, that gave us the um blueprint right there. So And that was I think you all of y'all on there, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And then um Trav and um, Ewell. Uh, and that's the song where I think you was on there. You said, hey, Duty Low. Yeah. Mention them G's one more time. We're going to get Duty Low. Yeah, I'm gang. What, 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 uh, <laughs> what was Duty Low <laughs> saying, man? He's a looking bitch. He was playing. He called him the D's on everything. Well, that's his shit. Duty Low was playing that shit. Yeah, that's my that boy. Shit, man. That verse went crazy. I'm like, all right. That's when I really got in tune with you. Yeah, that's my boy, man. I know. And they said Vin Diesel looking bit. That song, man. He do like Vin Diesel. Yeah. Just because he got a baldy? Yeah. Nah, it's just, just that, just, that too, though. But that yeah. Thing, man. Yeah, bro. <laughs> he Vin Diesel. That's what we call him. <laughs> <Yeah, bro. laughs> but no, I know, man. That bitch was a hit, though. I ain't going to I'm keep it real. Nah, that shit got like here. 3 million views or something yeah, on there. It's this done. That bitch, I ain't going to lie. That bitch did what? A meal or what? Three weeks? Uh -huh. Something like that. I'm done, man. Man, that bitch was a hit, man. That was it was a, it was a nice song. God damn, boy. Jesus Christ, that boy ain't never seen a treadmill a day in his life, huh? <laughs> you ain't squabbling nothing, man. You better <laughs> That was like two years ago, right? Yeah. yeah. So all this really was after like uh GDs and Adult song was really eating up. Yeah. Yeah. Did y'all know that Ruger shit was gonna take off like that? Oh, that's him? <laughs> Nah, we've been, I've been the Ruger was gonna take off. I ain't talking oh, about, I'm, okay. I'm talking about that song that specifically. Song? Yeah, like, did yeah, that, shit was, that shit was going viral, viral on, was on viral. Facebook and shit before, like, he even, on some real shit. I don't even think folks had the song finished. He ain't even had a song made. Like, folks was freestyling. Hey, <laughs> man, it was going viral. Bro, I was freestyling off the line. And the song wasn't even made, bro. bro that bitch like was viral. From the NFL. I um, don't mind me, my voice gone. Y'all been in the studio and shit. Oh, but this nigga look like the song went viral, bro, all over the internet. Now they like, what a GD Anthem, what a GD Anthem. But I'm just constantly playing around and shit, just letting time go by and shit. But I made it. And, um, You know, somebody leaked that bitch. That bitch hit the streets before I could even. I was so, remember, I was so pissed. Yeah, I, I, like, I, we still fuck? trying to figure out who that was. Yeah, they crazy, man. Wow. It wasn't me, man. It was you. I ain't gonna lie, man. I knew that. I, I, I figured it, that. I felt it, man. You dropped Send that man his money. Send that man his dub. That's your, that's your one, Give bro. me my money, man. Pick <laughs> that belt up, man. Pick that belt up, man. Give me my money, man. We gonna be in that ring, man. How much this worth, man? How much? 
I don't know. Where'd you get I that walk- target? No, I ain't gonna lie. I walked out with this <laughs> man. For real? Get- no, I'm just talking. Oh man. <laughs> Walmart though, man, a little dub, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But I am, you know what I'm saying? Somebody want to come take it from me, they can, man. You know who you want, who you want to come take it? That's, that's, the, that's the heavyweight joint? Yeah, man, that's the world. Uh, man. The champion I, of the world, man. I was really finna come to this motherfucker like The Rock <laughs> on Adam. Yeah, I was thinking that would have been pretty funny. We need more, like, wrestling-type stuff going on in here. But what's going on, Adam, man? Yeah, I know. That's why everybody's been thinking for the last 20 minutes. Is, <laughs> don't y'all have something to talk about? Yeah, what's going on, man? <laughs> I don't know. Let me know something, man. Like, what we learned about? I feel like you're disappointed because now I'm a rapper having motion <laughs> and I'm not even writing songs about you. I feel like you were probably pissed when the freestyle came out and I didn't have any bars for you. Skipped right over you, went before straight to J Main. Before the freestyle. Oh, I don't even remember anything before that. Although I was just thinking we did that whole interview with Flame in which he like, remember he's telling he the funny no ass story about him stealing his shit while he went to the store or something? It has nothing to do with Flame. Oh, Flame okay. ain't steal nothing. No, he said Ruga stole from him, right? Huh? Listen, I'm going to tell you some real shit, though, Adam. Okay. My thing is with you, man. Mm. Like, even where, where we went bad at, the moment I did my interview with you, we um, I talked to you before the cameras was even rolling. Mm-hmm. I said, I ain't even want to talk about that billionaire shit. You feel me? Just off the strength of, that's Doug Homie. They always, we always in cahoots with each other. Mm-hmm. And I just ain't got time to be you know what I'm saying? Bashing the next motherfucker on the internet or whatever. Then the first thing you started the interview off with was uh, you said you didn't want to talk about the billionaire shit. <laughs> and I literally just told you this. So it's like why well, speak about it on camera? I felt you want, didn't up. want to talk about Dirk specifically. But listen, mm. this was the thing though. It's well, like, Adam tested you. you right? after okay, okay. Okay, we get a little context now. Yeah, Adam said forget what you're talking about. Shoot, you're going to give me what I want. Ah, <laughs> ah! Interview. I talk to you. I'm like, I don't know. I just want to see the interview before it come out. You know what I'm saying? To see it. You know what I'm saying? Just because I ain't got time to be stirring all goofy shit up. I ain't got time for that. But you, literally, mm-hmm. any other time I DM you, you hit me back. But this particular time when I'm DMing you, telling you like, send me the video, the clip. You're not hitting me back. Now you drop mm-hmm. it. And you knew I talked to you and you agreed upon this. As a man, when you tell somebody I'm going to do this, you got to stand on it. Mm. Where I'm from. So, and you ain't standing ah. on your word. Yeah, I should have been more direct and Hold just up. told you I was going to put it out. Okay, you know, okay, we get to where, see, that's why we don't look at clips. We got to start and get some context. Oh, okay, I'm getting it now. Keep Clean. going, I ain't even done. Oh, it's like, okay. and then another thing, you want to have plan with folks mama, like thug mama, bro. Like, nah. I don't give a fuck how much you plant. Don't play with folks, OG. I think that was a... Man, she be playing with herself, man. But that's what we gonna leave it at. Mutual thing. Her and I had this I'm little flirtatious to, joke to hit thing going shit. on. Don't I mean, have you seen the interview? She's around with me like that, Listen, calling me handsome and all this shit, too. It's thing. not just like... Like, you remember that day? We could not believe the way she was flirting well, look, with me. At the end of the yeah, day, was, another thing, man, you play with Wooski, bro. Like... Just let me out. We, we, we talk. I don't care if y'all talk. That ain't that. I got a personal problem with it because mm. it's the principle of you playing with him about him getting shot in the head. That shit ain't no joke. Mm. You, do you know that was at my best friend funeral? Yeah. Do you know that that my best friend mama couldn't even bury her son the right way? Mm. Like the funeral was completely over after that. My right. father's running everywhere. My mama was there. My son was there. He yeah. wasn't even six months. For sure, Wooski should have thought about that you, before he started. Why'd you even, you shouldn't, they shouldn't even been there. I'm talking about your peoples, your your, your kids, your mom, they shouldn't even been there. Because y'all know what time it is, man, especially with them funerals, man. Come on now. Come on, G. Started talking I'm shit to me. Because when you start doing battle in hip hop, no. you're going to use Wooski whatever you got about you. to talk shit. He you did. He started shit with me. So I mentioned Bro, something like that. You went on an interview with Cairo. And brought up Wooski. Right. In a very light him, way. Like, like barely the the idea that that was that recited, deserved the reaction that you, he then gave me is fucking insane. Just you basically recited lyrics that you knew was really serious, bro. That like behind the situation. I think you're listen, you're, you're taking di- playing with y'all, huh? Okay, okay. We get there. We get close, man. Right? Okay. So he playing with you. He ain't got no respect. 
He ain't respecting y'all gangster, huh? Huh. Okay, okay. Let's get let's get more into it now. Different situations and combining I, yeah. them together, though. Because yeah. that was all about Sean Cotton saying but that he didn't think saying. Cairo had when Wooski you, vibes. Listen, when you do that, you place yourself in street shit. Right. It get real after that. Okay. Like for real, gang. Like, like on some real shit. Like if I would have came in here right now with some, with four pairs of boxing gloves and set the business on the table, right? Uh, he don't look look at his face. He a little uncomfortable now. They like, okay, I I hear your tone. You know, your tone kind of, you know, it's a little stern. It's a little, you know what I mean? You trying to push a line. I hear the seriousness in your voice. <laughs> you know, like, come fight me right now. Let's go fight. Would you? No, that's just goofy. Exactly. As fuck. That's what I'm telling you. I would have looked at you like you this were doing some I'm stupid ass you, clout shit if you did something like that, when, for sure. It wouldn't be no clout shit because you ain't going to post it anyway. But this is what I'm telling you. At the end of the day, mm. if I ask you that type of shit, you yeah, got at that boy like that, though, did you know? <laughs> he said, You ain't gonna post it, though, because we know what's up with you. You know? Dang. You ain't really willing to even just fight. Dang. Don't stop egging it on, gang. Mm. Like, if you ain't literally just willing to fight, Mm. Why do you think that? About, why do I need up. to be on board with even, fighting? Listen, like, I've listen. never said I was a boxer. I'm not even, why do I need to be a boxer listen, all of when a you sudden? Got on that nah, man. Nah, don't, don't be a sucker now, my boy. Don't be no sucker now, uh, uh, Adam. You know what I mean? You've been playing with him. And now, some, now somebody that came through and actually got some seriousness in regards to addressing you. Man, it, I'm kind of getting a little, little, little sucker is fire coming down for the year. <laughs> you, you know, you know, I'm pretty much saying if you're going to get into something, man, you best be ready to deal with the consequences. And you like to go ahead, you know, and get into stuff like this and don't be wanting to deal with them consequences, man. Whether it be for whether it be a fade or whether it be anything else, you know, for every fade, there's a taper. Speaking of tapers, I just got one, boy. It's dang crispy. To... Boy. <laughs> and then you said, Ruga, a bitch. Acting like a bitch. Ooh. Them fighting words to me. We don't play about that shit. Oh. Now, I could come in here and really get on bullshit. You see Ooh. what I'm saying? Oh. We don't said, play oh, about. He, oh, he's. Oh, Adam saying it like that? Oh, man. Oh, man. Hey, this the first dude out here trying to push a boy, pushing a line and addressing this boy. And he's serious, man. Adam might start switching up a little bit. You know, I don't, now I'm going to be honest with you. I think it's just going to be from a Chicago. You know, not, you know, I ain't trying to go ahead and no disrespect to anybody else, but I think it's just a Chicago thing that he's probably going to be a little bit more careful about. That this Chicago individual pushing his line, you know, is making him very uncomfortable. Look at him. That boy is attentive. He like, oh, oh. <laughs> he like, oh, oh, oh. Oh. Yo, Tango Beef. <laughs> Yo, Tango L Beef, hey. <laughs> A certain shit. And you got to understand when you step in that field. You got to accept everything that come with it. Ain't no, I just want to turn this button off now. Now I want to turn this button off. Um, I don't want to do this, but nah, you forgetting the other shit that come with it. Do I seem like I'm worried about that? At the Ooh. end of the day, Ooh. yeah. Do I seem like I'm worried about any of the shit? Listen, like, there's a lot of threats. Said, there's a lot of ideas. Hey, told me. You I'm just, chilling. Ooh, you just, so you basically saying, hey, am I really worried about what y'all say? Because y'all do a whole lot of talking and y'all don't do nothing to back it up. That's what I heard from that. Y'all hear that same thing? I, I heard that. And said, if I ask you with the boxing glove to fight, you said you would not do it. Right. So you are I'm worried not about a boxer. It. You know why? Because you worried about getting knocked the f out. No, because I just don't want to take part you in goofy about ass clout shenanigans. Out. It wouldn't be no clout Nah, stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop it. Because if that was the case, you wouldn't do some of the things that you do. Stop it. You know why? Yes, it is. Have no cameras rolling, Challenging a non-boxer to a boxing match when I've never said or done no, anything that suggested no that I'm... Well, I look at him, bro. He ain't no boxer. I can look at him. I know he ain't no boxer. You know what he with, and he willing to go ahead and say, I'm going to go ahead and lay what we do in Chicago down, and I'm going to put them boxing gloves on that table, and we can squab it out. And you should have been talking, do I look like a boxer? You sound like a sucker, my boy. That's what you sound like. You sound like a sucker. You know, 
like anybody just even just initiated something like that, just telling me like, what? A, yeah, I'll accept that. What? Are you saying that that's what you want to do with I? Yes. What you want to go after the interview right now? What you want to do, homeboy? <laughs> so no boxing boxer. Either. What the f- so different about me and you? You older than me. Okay, what the f- is so different. I'm gonna pull up to do an interview with you, and I'm gonna bring a snowboard, and we're What's gonna so have a different? contest. Who's the best snowboarder? Because so that's different? exactly as logical as you deciding that I. Sh- ah, my boy, that sounds so suckerish. You feel what I'm saying? Because if it was a call out, just like me, you're like, hey man, you gonna take this? You go, you go take like we out here snowboarding, or so, or we buy something. Like, hey man, like, like, like. I'm a com- I'm a competitor, man, and I try stuff. And you know what I'm saying? Somebody called me out for some competition. Even if I don't know what to do, I'm gonna do it. Just because you called me out, and you out here, come come on, man, snowboard, come on. We all got two hands. We all know how to throw a punch, whether it's correct or incorrect. Stop, stop it, there, Adam. Don't nobody be snowboarding. How many of y'all know how to snowboard? I don't know how to snowboard. You know? Shoot. I don't go in the snow. Shoot, I like that heat hitting my skin. <laughs> Should be a boxer now. Bro, you just dropped a diss on to people. And you was trash as hell. What? At the end of the day, you might have been the rest person I heard said that. Shit. This is what I'm telling you. I heard a lot of people say they think I'm nicer on the mic than you are. I'm going to keep it real, bro. Oh. That shit was ass. What? Was ass. <laughs> that was my first song. But I think I snapped. All right. Make it your last, man. No, we got that more. <laughs> we got I another heard. one that'll probably be out by the time this comes out. All right, that's cool. Keep doing what you're doing. I hope you make it in your rap career. But look, stop playing with people if you're not ready for the outcome that come with the shit. Why? Facts. 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 Do you think I'm not ready? Because you're not. You just sat here and ah. said you wouldn't even fight. So yeah. you're not ready. That's what I'm telling you. Being you're ready not. is not the same as having to take part in goofy ass crowd shenanigans. Some real shit. And- if you ready, man? When they say you march, you said go. You're ready, said go. Is you ready to go? Stop. Come on, man. You sound like a real sucker right now, my boy. <laughs> hey man, that boy get that damn boy though. That nigga tell you in Cali. Did y'all watch this or did y'all watch like a clip? Cause y'all can't be sitting over there talking about uh, unless unless he handled it so wrong. I, we gonna see it's coming up. But they say we run a phase around. They run phase around this bitch. You hanging out with the wrong guys in Cali? Exactly. But they don't run phase in Cali. Not a lot. Not Whatever a lot. going on? We dumb. fight. Where we from, nigga? Chicago. Dumb. You sound dumb. Who you around? You sound dumb. <laughs> ah, you sound stupid. Where you at? Shoot, what I see all the time, shoot, I'm seeing squabs. <laughs> well, because uh, the 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 rate of people out there using them, that's when I'd be telling me that they ain't nobody squabbing. Come on, man. We just mm-hmm. recommend. You know, we we just have recommendations. You know, we just tell people to be prepared. But squabbing ain't never went out the window. So I don't care what none of y'all talking about. Chicago. At the end of the day, if a motherfucker, Chicago fight, this is like very you, different than everything I've been led to believe about Chicago. Really, no, Chicago fight. Nobody care about what you believe. Nobody care about the suckers that you didn't talk to. We who? Oh, When's the last time we heard about a, a famous Chicago brawl? Now you know what it is. Everybody don't be in that. But Chicago fight. Right. I'm gonna tell you some real shit. That's really light. What I'm actually telling you, fight. Niggas really right. kill motherfuckers in Chicago. You should kill. That's me. what they do. I love. But what I I'm telling you is somebody should shoot me. For but what sure. I'm telling you is, all right now. Adam, yeah. All right now, Adam. You're gonna get up one day if you keep. Tweak it with people. I'm telling you, bro. I'm gonna be real. It's not gonna be a good outcome. The for threats, you. the like vague, like oh, he ain't threatening you, bro. He's sitting over there telling you, man. And it's the truth. You keep playing with people, you're gonna run into somebody, man, that you shouldn't be playing with. And then you're gonna get that di- you're gonna get dead dirty. And that's just me watching my mouth right now. Cause y'all know this going on the upload. That's it. Cause if it was on live, I'd be saying a whole bunch. Of- <laughs> ah, oh, something's gonna Ain't happen to you. Ain't nobody threatening you. 
the 22 star ain't pressed. I'm telling Trust you, me. <laughs> I ain't threatening you. I'm good. I'm telling you. If hey, if man, sounds like, asked, a- hey man, there's some people, man, that don't care about you calling the police. You might not even get a chance to call the police. You better quit playing with people, man. You better keep playing with Ruga. All depends how he handles whatever he get ready to get. Uh, from that chair, I might I might listen to his music sometime when I uh, go lift weights. We we're, we're, we're gonna see, man. I might give you a listen on my music, man. Let me see how you handle it. You, Sounds like you're trying to threaten me. At the end of the day, I'm telling I'm not you as real. It. I'm telling you as a man, nigga. Right. You gonna get f-ed up out here playing? Okay. Remo, no, he he over there he's looking like oh. Hey, <laughs> he know. Look at. Come on, man. What you gonna go to the police? Come on. At the end of the day, man, the police can't save you. You gonna go to the police, man? That is not manly, man. Sometimes, man. Hey, look. Like I always say, sometimes you got. Sometimes. You can talk it out. Sometimes you may can avoid the situation. It might be smart. But sometimes, man, you might got to get down with the get down. And it's up to you to understand uh, what needs to be done in that situation. And then what Adam be doing? Hey, man, it's going to come upon a time and a place where he's going to have to get down with the get down. And uh, all this duck in this smoke, man, you know, you, you, you talk real heavy because you probably got security. Uh, this right there, you know what I'm saying? You talk real heavy, but you didn't. You, I didn't see you avoid some situations because you didn't want to deal with the circumstances because you know them people, them individuals didn't care about your security, didn't care about no police. You, you know what I'm saying? Because you wouldn't be having that same energy if it wasn't on camera. You wouldn't be having that same energy if your security right there, man. Come on, man. It's just like that one homeboy that you may got. Hey, when you around, hey, he with it. But when you're not around, he's sitting over there shimmering me timbers. Yo, like, I, I should Remo, you know, I'm him. with whatever listen, I get though. myself into. But listen, you not because you said you wouldn't even fight a person. You that's talk, goofy as you fuck. You talking about some clout. Oh, listen, I'm going to give you boxing you gloves. Some real like, shit. That's some goofy ass clout shit. And you this. know it. You know I'm it. really saving your face. You know it. Saving your face. But number listen, one, I never listen. signed up to. Damn, I was trying to give him the benefit of the doubt because I know where he was getting at and what he was saying, but he already put his hand out there and pretty much indirectly telling like, "Hey, man, if I put these gloves on this table, would you get it?" Then he went on ahead and put himself right first point. He said, "I right, like we don't need gloves. Like I put these hands in your face. I'm like, damn." <sighs> you should have just kept with it, man. You, you know what I mean? You, you lost your cool. You lost your cool, man, but it's all good, though. You got to get whatever you got to get out, man. It's all good. To be a fighter? At the end of the day, so if somebody starts you ain't telling me, like, to be oh, a rapper neither, you're, you're not a great... But you just yes, I did. No, song. I literally did. I made a song. Trash. That was me signing up was when I made the song. that shit was trash. You ain't signed up to be no f- rapper? So you're telling me that I'm but not a good it. rapper. Do you so think that that impacts my, shit. like, ego? Do you think I'm worried about not being a good rapper? Yes, you are, because you just sat here and said you wouldn't fight if it came down to it. You My whole soft. thing is that I'm right. not willing to you take soft. people and let oh. them convince me that I need to fight to can, defend you my can man. Get on the platform and let them convince you. You can try to convince people that you tough and you this and that. Facts. You soft. Soft. I mean, you're soft. Soft. You're soft, man. You're soft. You're just soft. <laughs> when have I ever acted like you, I was tough? On some real shit. Well, what you gonna do if the funk really go down? You gotta protect your family. What you gonna? I don't want to fight, guys. I don't want to get in this altercation, guys. I think we should call the authorities, guys. <laughs> no, you gotta get what you gotta do. You gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> just speaking on street shit to get you up. I'm telling okay. you that. I'm just gonna let you know. I'm good I, with the vague threats. You ain't. Yes. You ain't. You Unless you're be. gonna do something, you wouldn't. Be. I don't want to hear it. Do you want to fight? No, I am Adam. Hey, you asked for that. Now you like, did you want to fight? And he said, No. So, what you saying? Like, you know, you just ducked the fade. That boy just ducked the fade. <laughs> that boy just ducked the fade on his screen. How you get get at it? Yo, you get got at it. Yo, establishment man, come on, man. He in your house getting at you. You ducking the fade in your house, man. Stop. This is so scary. <laughs> then why are you on the podcast? 
Stop talking. You don't get to tell me to shut the up on my listen, podcast. If this I was is a, if my I was podcast out, that you were very upset. Out on this bitch, when I told you you weren't invited listen, on this podcast, Remo, you were very I'm upset. Remo now. Hey, listen. You're talking to if me I was on my podcast. Out, you hit him in his mouth. Say I hit him in his mouth. What are you going to do? What do you think I'm going to do? He go, he go try to sue. He going to be one of them soft ass, soft ass How people. am I going to sue you when I got way more soft. money than you? Because you soft. That's not usually how it works. Because you soft. So you telling me. Damn. He's saying soon you was pointless. Damn. He tried to hit me a little below the belt, didn't he? <laughs> if I hit you in your mouth, you ain't going to sue me. I don't need to sue you. You ain't asking my question. Am I going to sue you? Why would I sue somebody that I have way more money than? If I hit you in your mouth, then what? I feel like that would really betray the fact that you told Remo that you didn't have a problem with me and really just wanted At to the talk end of the on the day, podcast. It's the principle. I'm telling you something. You need to learn so something. So you're scared of you. So you're saying that what he did was kind of what you did. So you mad at him for seeing an opportunity to get at you and to go up. Cause even if he's serious or not, right? Let's say if he's not serious, hey, this was smart. He seen this as an opportunity to go up. And now he gonna go up. They talking about him now. They gonna listen to his music, and they're like, "Oh my God, you got out the white boy." You know, you know how that's gonna go. You got out the white boy, so he gonna start going up, and then he might he might get some gain from this white boy. Whether he was with it, whether he's in with this or not with it, hey man, that boy didn't hey. If this wasn't planned, hey, he got you on this one. He outsmarted you on this one, my boy. I mean, shit, you did what you did with Billionaire Black, right? When he told you not to speak on him, and so he, hey, now nah, I ain't got no problem with it, but hey, man, watch me get at this white boy. You know what I mean? Got at him. Hey, whatever's gonna come, whatever's gonna come from it. Let's see if he take the make the most of this opportunity. Go ahead, then. You need to learn now? something from another grown man. You want me to do it? Sure. If I hey, hit you, go crazy. Your security going to run crazy. in here? Hey, hold on. What, 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 what else is he here for? What else is he here Your security going to come in with his gun? Why else is he here? All right, but look. See, look. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Well, hold on. So stop talking. If you were really on some tough shit, you wouldn't care about that, right? Listen, you. I don't put. All right, now. I, 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 this is probably the best point that Adam has made because that is correct. Just like when I got at them boys, uh, them baby stone gorillas talking about, hey man, you make an excuse because you at the courthouse. So what? You know, you see, you see, you see your enemy go get it. And on some real, if you really wanted somebody, if you really was about that, you ain't gonna care about none of that. You gonna get active, but you putting thought in it. And Adam know that you guys be putting thought into it. That you ain't gonna go ahead. And, and get active because you fear consequence, whatever the consequence may be. You got a point there, Adam. You do. And it's true. Now, I don't know if it's going to be true for him, but in general, it's true. Put myself out here on some tough shit. I, was I never shit. came on here and told I you I am the best fighter. When you. have I ever came on the podcast and said, oh, I'm the toughest? It's the shit you mentioned. It. Like I what? just told you. I just spoke on my homie. Your Ford, example you spoke on that is shit. basically like telling that me was a game. that even Stop though Wooski dissed me At and talked shit to day, me first, that I shouldn't man, be able to talk back shit. to him in you response. That shit. You throw the rock and you hide your hand. That's not true. That's what he the threw fuck the rock. you do. You throw the rock and hide your hand. He threw the rock. And just like I said, at the end of All the day, was right. you you're ready. trying to tell me that for some reason you not I can't ready respond to somebody when he disses me. If you ain't ready for what come with it, leave that street shit alone. I'm ready. For real. I'm good. Because right, you're not right. even ready to. All right. Y'all heard him. He said he ready. All right. He said he ready for war. You don't want to go to war with me. I'm going to go to war with me. me. Fight. That's that you even, coming that up with an that. arbitrary way for. So, so him telling him to fight is really being polite. He's really giving him some, some street etiquette. <laughs> he really gave that boy some street etiquette. To Shut prove to our masculinity, and I'm letting you know That's that if you want to have a boxing match, I want to have a snowboarding bro. competition. Bro, it's exactly the same thing. Just it. say you scared. Do it. I'm do not it. a fighter. So if you do this, if just you say you scared. There's a reason I move around the way that I do. So this is I, what I, you need to be a fighter. 
you a soft man selling talking about I'm not a fighter. I'm not saying that you just need to be squabbing everything down. But what I'm saying is if it come down to it to defend yourself or you may need to get active, you just off of, you know what I mean? You know, y'all know how it is about our respect. I respect you to get active. And you telling me there's nothing that you would do to get active, including protecting yours. Or def- That's what you mean. Oh, I, I'm not a fighter, so that means that fighting goes so deep, even mentally. Like you're not a fighter, that you soft. I'm Don't want you, someone like you to try to think know, that you can bully me. If you said the reason why you move, why you move, because you don't want to fuck you up, right? Well, of course. So why the fuck is you doing the shit you doing? Because the shit's talking gonna get to you people on the up. internet that'll get you fucked up though. You contradicting yourself. All the threats in the world don't mean shit to me. You got to do it. You contradicting yourself. You got to do it. Bro, you not like also real You shit. know where I'm at I just every day you, doing content. I just asked you, would you fight me in gloves? And, and again, you, no. you coming up with an arbitrary way for us to prove our manhood I real doesn't life, interest me. Like, like for real. Life. We can talk like, on a podcast. No, you no, have to express yourself listen, with words. I ain't going to embarrass you. I ain't even going to embarrass myself on this podcast and bust off your ass. Cause I can. That for I sure would have been. Everything. That would embarrass you. This is you. the whole like you would get my whole left hand around and do some shit to you, boy. I don't even know but why listen, you think you could come on listen, my podcast and talk shit to me like this yeah, when you're obviously that not going to do shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Listen, I, you're going to have to leave if day. you want to keep talking Look, leave, tough. Because nobody is interested in hearing you talk leave. shit like that. He want a motherfucker to leave because he's scared. Let's bring it. You want me to take you serious? But your heart beating for huh? What's your heart beating for, huh? What's your heart beating for? You scared. Let's bring it back in a little bit. Let me talk to you. Uh, so You're going to have to be polite if you want to stay on listen, this podcast. Listen. Can we talk about this podcast? No, hold on. Then why did you beg to come on here? To be honest, I really wanted to come in and beat your ass. Yeah, but you're not. <laughs> you want to go back to go get your face. Man, Again, I know. Oh, my, my, my. <laughs> Hey, man, I'm about to start saying that. You know, let's just go catch our fate. Let's just go catch our fate. <laughs> hey, I'm going to start saying that. You know what? Let's just go catch our fate. <laughs> Don't want to box. I listen. Off my word. I listen, listen. Hold on. Hold on. I can have hold you removed up. right you now. Catch Do you want to go? Fate. I know. You want to go wait outside? Hey, listen. But you you run? Run? Listen to me. Me. Try to 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 me. Try that boy, Adam, really scared. I promise you, Adam, really scared. If this ain't staged, which you know, with the internet, it's always a possibility. I don't ever believe nothing on this internet. I'm sorry, I don't. I don't care how real it is. It would have to be like I seen the outcome of what, it, like I seen everything happen organically for me to know. Like when we do them dash cams, yeah, all right, yeah, you know. But this. Uh, Nah, I still leave doubt. But there's a message, and there's always some something to react to. Come on, yeah, that's, that's cool. what I'm gonna do. Right, or you that can sit here and talk me. like a man. You got the police in here. How's it a police? That ain't gonna move me. Talk. It's cool. It's I just don't know why you're so hey, convinced. Man, I see that voice change though. Hey man, hey hey man, hey. When you hear that voice change, man, hey man, that ain't gonna move me. It's good. It's good. You know, you know, hey, we hear that back up. Mind your business. It's mind your business. It's, it's mind your business. You know, we, you... So this is a good place for you to talk like you're, you're talking. talking. Right. I'm not talking. I'm not like a boxer. boxer. I've exactly. made that extremely so stop clear. Stop talking. Stop talking. I'm a podcaster. Why the f- would I stop talking? Stop talking. That's your problem. Why would I stop talking when I'm a podcast? All you gonna do is hit the table. Come on, yeah, he saw. You would hit the table. But All you you're doing me. is sitting here yapping. Hey, so look, we we talked it out. We said that everything was cool. <laughs> hey man, hey, look, man, on some real, on some real, homie. Hey, you talking like you got something to lose? So if you got something to lose, then why even? <clears throat> Why even go there with him? You know the white boy soft. You know he's soft. You know he's not gonna get off. 
You know, now you may gain favor from the audience, but you talking like you got something to lose. Because like Adam said, which I agree with, which y'all know has been my stance. Hey, man, if you really want somebody, there shouldn't be nobody in your way. You need to get at them. Shouldn't nothing stop you. Shouldn't nobody stop you. If you want somebody, then you go get them. Adam right there in front of you. Come on. Yeah, hey, why, Adam, why you I seen the list. Yeah, yeah you listen. try to do the old switcheroo. Who want my act tough you as soon as I get on the, the podcast? Police. Oh, I can handle my own business as well. Don't Come worry. On. Yeah, I don't handle it by doing boxing matches with cavemen who want to act scared, tough man. instead caveman. of doing a podcast. Caveman. So how one? How do you handle your problems then if you ain't squabbing? Because we know you ain't busting on nothing. Two cavemen. Caveman, boy, caveman. Wow, y'all know what's up with that. Boy, didn't call you a caveman, and he meant it in the most derogatory form that he can give you. And he's not going to reap no consequences about it. Y'all still going to want to sign up for him because he know that y'all feel deep down inside y'all need him. And he know, and oh my gosh, like if he doesn't do nothing, boy, you you about to see the, the mess that this man is really going to talk now. He done got into confrontation even though you were scared and he didn't do nothing. So just think about What's going to happen now about how he going to get at y'all and test y'all? He's sitting over there talking back. He called y'all caveman. Y'all ain't going to do nothing about it. So I don't worry about it because y'all ain't going to do nothing about it. But just keep coming on the platform and keep getting disrespected. Keep letting them play with you, even though y'all sign up for it yourself. So I don't feel bad for y'all. So don't so don't get up on your crying. Don't be making little videos crying about what he do because y'all signed up for this. You got him and you got a bunch of Negroes on there for what? Because they think that he can put them on instead of putting on for yourself. Okay. Now you racist. I'm not a boxer. Now it's racistness coming oh, out. And now you you're here to play the race you're card. You're talking about cavemen. You racist man. I'm describing your brain. You weird. Not your race. You weird. I'm going to ask you to leave. That's cool. I'll leave. But I'm telling you, you a bitch. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, yo, that's a handsome guy. <laughs> you handsome guy. Nigga, come on. Sure. Come oh, on, get up out of here. Don't touch me, though. But no, listen, yeah, you're going to have to go. That's a handsome guy. You're going to have to go. Uh, that's not him saying that. That's, that's somebody else trying to get... Uh, he uh he made that little alter uh, uh that little alteration of the content right because I <laughs> hey, hey that boy was trying to get monetized. <laughs> I bet you y'all he hey, he delete this out. I you're bet you he delete this out the interview. You're gonna have to go. You're a handsome guy, capable of acting like a handsome guy. Bless up. You I can't act like a handsome guy. I Behave like a grown up. That. Handsome. Shit. Behave like no, a grown up. Ruga. Yes. Come on. Get the. Man. Yo. Touch you? Get out of here! You scared? You're fired. Who's a handsome guy? Who's a handsome guy? Oh, get out of here! You easy to care about? Come on, G. No handsome guy. Yo, yo, get the you got a soft ass security. Right. Oh, no, 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 no. I said the same thing. I said the same thing. Oh my god! I said the same thing. I ain't even gonna lie. This who you hire? Come on, G. Hey, He's on. soft as hell. Get out of here. I'm a, we hey, can run the fade. We can yeah, run the fade. Not on the show. Hey, hey, so, hey, come on, y'all. No, no. Hold up. Hold up. Is this his homies? This ain't his homies, is it? Hold up. I know this ain't his homies. Just sitting down there to let that go down? This his homies? Tell me this is just other guests. This can't be his homies. Whoa. This is his homies. Y'all soft. Oh, damn. 
Where y'all want to? Would you pick back up? Run Let's talk fade, about man. You said we run that fade, niggas. This is homies. Hold up. What just happened? Yeah, that 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 went a little sideways there for a moment. Y'all knew that was gonna happen or nah? Y'all ain't see that happening. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I was here when uh when folks did the interview and. I felt the same way. I felt like Adam shouldn't, have, you know what I'm saying? You know, went about it that way. Honestly, I agree with that. And that's like part of the conversation I had with Wooski is that I wish that I hadn't played around with like sending them Vaughn lyrics or whatever. Like I can argue with people and beef with people without having to throw gang shit or personal disses, et cetera. Like that, my man, I ain't going to lie. Y'all scared. Y'all just scared of the consequences that y'all can get, but y'all don't be. Come on, man. I, hey, look, man. Whether they not in or in, bro, anybody can get it. Y'all be sitting over there talking about anybody can get it. Well, you need to show it. If you're gonna be about what you said that you about, you picking and choosing. It's a picking and choose, man. This boy be playing with y'all. All y'all do is just talk. Y'all don't do nothing about it. I'm not saying that y'all should. But if you're gonna talk about it like y'all got a problem with it, then y'all tell y'all be talking about how much of a gangster y'all is, then do something about it. Now I'm not talking about homeboy, I'm just talking about y'all in general. Don't do all that talking if you ain't gonna get active. You know, these people be signing up for this stuff on their own will. He getting at y'all because y'all allow it, just like oh Alex Alonzo. How does he know all this stuff? He had to been told because y'all can't y'all. Boy, y'all can't keep a secret to save y'all life. I'd be like, hey, hey, hey. I'd be like, hey, Hanny Mae, right there, right? She ate two eggs. And all of a sudden, somebody out here talking about the next day going to be like, Hanny Mae ate two eggs. Like, nigga, did I just say you feel me? <laughs> like, y'all can't keep a secret to save y'all life. My personal, like, code for how I handle shit online is like, I don't diss anybody's girls unless the girl gets in it. I don't diss anybody's dead homies. I don't throw anybody's neighborhood in it. So that right there, for sure, that was like an error on my part. However, a lot of times when people talk about this, they try to act like Wooski's this saint. Like he didn't show up in my DMs acting crazy in the first place. So I just don't appreciate when people act like I'm not allowed to defend myself when somebody starts what, trying to what made, me. What made Wooski uh, like say Interesting. <laughs> Something to you. Okay, so when I did the interview mm -hmm. with No Limit Cairo, we were talking about and you missed how, it though. Yeah, because Sean Cotton had been talking about Cairo, and he said, "Well, oh, he don't give me Wooski vibes or nothing." Basically saying, and then you he don't it. seem like a killer." And I just said, "Realistically, you probably don't want to <clears> have Wooski vibes." Which I, I felt like I was just making a joke about the fact that Wooski does have a very dispassionate <laughs> demeanor. You know, he's a well, some hey. Very interesting, y'all. Very interesting. <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all think about this. We gone.